Do you see yourself or other students falling asleep or lack of attention in your first period classes? This is due to how early schools are starting and us as the students not getting enough sleep. If school started an hour or two later, this would greatly improve students' academics. Experts say students need eight and a half to nine hours of sleep a night. According to Sleep Foundation studies, only 15% of teenagers are sleeping at at least eight and a half hours on school nights. A common question asked is why not send your kids to bed earlier? <laughs> this won't work in teens due to circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm is the internal body clock that basically tells the body when it's feeling tired or awake. Circadian rhythm in high school students makes them feel uh, more tired in the mornings. And students don't feel the effects of being tired until 10 or 11 at night. Well, the study did show, and the Karai study and other studies as well, did show that when, when the, I guess, individuals or teenagers start hitting around 12, 13, 14 years old in that time, their sleep cycle does shift, and uh, it shifts towards a later time period. So in other words, they'll, they, they'll be up later and want to sleep in later, and that's a scientifically they're, uh, proven fact, so to speak. Um, and it, it affects about 80% plus uh, individuals. So it affects the majority of, a vast majority of, of uh, uh, students, you would say. And so when, when you, I guess, force a student to get up to come to school at 7, 7.30 in the morning, especially a high school student, it's really, in my opinion, the opposite of what we, we should be doing. We should allow the elementary kids to come in earlier and the high school kids to come in later. Okay, as far as sleep cycle, their attentiveness, and everything else. Uh, do you see those examples of kids like falling asleep in class, not being able to pay attention? Do you see examples? Well, of that? you know, I have been teaching for 20 years, and I and I have had first hour classes, you know, most probably all of those years, and it's generally is true that those students are more subdued. Um, I have to say though, I haven't really looked at my data to see if there's like an average GPA difference or anything like that. I have not actually looked at that to see if it does affect their GPA. But I can almost, with, well, with certainty say that the classroom discussions are not as vibrant. They're not, they usually don't get into as much detail. The kids are just, they're, they're, they're just still waking up and trying to get through the lesson and doing the best they can. I do believe that productivity would increase if school started later. The trade-off to starting later, however, is that school would go later into the afternoon, which would impact the athletic schedule. And kids would then not get home as early. They would miss family dinners. They would miss other social functions with their family and friends. So although there is a fine balance between starting school at the right time uh, to increase productivity, there are also other contextual factors that have to be considered. But do you still believe like it's healthy the way we are teaching our kids, like our students, to be waking up this early, even though like uh, stats say that kids are getting over an hour and a half less sleep than they should be? Yeah, I think starting even a half hour later at 8 o'clock would, would go a long way in helping productivity. Not only at home, where students would be allowed to sleep more, but here at school. Students would come more rested, they might have time to eat food, uh, breakfast, which would help their, their minds engage and be functioning. Uh, so I would be in favor of starting at 8 o'clock. Due to all the facts that we have gathered, we've learned that high school students would greatly benefit if high school started one or two hours later.